but it's, it's very interesting to see how technology advances and how this game is just so far behind. Just in 20 years, we, we can see... Oh, right. Uh, you can see little things that don't visualize quite as well anymore just because of upping the aspect ratio. Now, the opposite is true of... In a, in a way, the opposite is true of Sonic Adventure, because instead of creating the aspect ratio, or making the aspect ratio into a 16x9 uh, box, they kept it as its original intended 4x3 by putting a border around it. I know I'm talking a lot of video stuff, but I think uh, it's, it's fun to talk about. And this might not make all the a load of sense to some people, but I feel like most people who you, you know game on computer understand aspect ratio at the very least in resolutions. So you end up with a situation in which uh, you can sort of force the original cinematics by uh, make making it into a boxy format because then it still fits like. Munch HD on on PC at least isn't tr well Munch on PC. It's sort of a hybrid between the PS3 release and the the three and the original Xbox release because of how it was formatted. So you can it's very visible from the videos in it that it was intended for something that was a lot more boxy. I cannot speak to the cutscenes in the re-release. They may do the same thing, but uh, we actually made a custom border for Munch in order to display it on cutscenes so that you didn't get quite as much of a black bar uh, during the video. I think that's really uninteresting and unprofessional to just keep that in. Now, granted, you're not going to spend a fortune on recreating those videos unless you're making a new game, so it's understandable that they didn't go back and fix it. Uh, but they did with New and Tasty, which is an important distinction I should make, uh, because that was a, from the ground up rebuilt. I'm not sure if those are pre-rendered or in-engine. In they look pre-rendered to me. Uh, but it's, it's interesting seeing the interactions between technologies as time goes on just because it's like yeah we don't do that anymore because we figured out it was stupid and we we have this better thing now uh but yeah th that's why a lot of this is shot very centered normally you don't see all of amy or shadow here but this you're still getting the same information uh, but it does lead to situations like this, where you can see the edge of that box in the background behind Eggman that you aren't really meant to see. It, it, it creates a bit of visual clutter, but it makes sense. Uh, I don't know if I'm even making sense. If, if I'm not, uh, please do say something, someone. Uh... I should be making sense. I don't want to... I guess this is the lecture episode. <laughs> yeah, Vulcan Cannon, fire yourself. But can we... Oh my god, I'm so angry. This is the worst situation. Uh, I do like how the the dark story sort of starts a lot earlier uh, than, than the hero story because it sort of gives this, this feeling of, you know, pre like everything's been planned. It, this, this is the most confident and competent Eggman has been, and I feel like we need to do more of that. Uh, I guess outside of Sad AM. It's, Eggman as a villain that's actually good at his job is really cool. And it's especially nice in this one because they really display his like uh like he has a really good oh shit moment at the very end because he's like oh wait hold up if earth is gone where do i do uh i need to do oh damn 
Where is Emerald? Oh, speaking of Emerald, uh, I am probably not going to end up playing Sonic Battle, but that gives me a good segue, uh, well, kind of a bad segue at this point, a, a segue into playing Game Boy games, because one thing, something I really want to hit up is Mother 3. Uh, I think that game is absolutely wonderful and beautiful, and no, Nintendo's not going to localize it. I don't, at this point, I have given up on that. And I don't expect it. Uh, I'm also tempted to do... I'm tempted to do, like, Earthbound and Mother 3 prior to the release of Oddity. Just because uh, I think those games are great. And, I, like, even narratively, even though it's not super, like, over, over the top and in your face about its narr narrative... Uh, Earthbound tells a really compelling story, and it's got like nice status, like status effects that really make sense for children. Like, uh, for instance, Ness needs to call his mom because he gets homesick. Like, he doesn't have to do much; he just has to call home, and then he can fight again. But uh, it, like, in the context of the actual fights, it's like really hindering for him. And he's, like, one of the heaviest hitters because of PK Love. Where the fuck is this emerald? Oh my god, it's in a locker, isn't it? Yeah. Anyways, uh, Earthbound has really good ways of telling its story through its mechanics. And Mother 3 is just a good story. It's a little bit over the top and direct in your face about it, but I don't mind it too much because it, in the end of the day, makes for a fabulous game and story. And realistically, isn't that all that's important is that a game sets out what it does, or what does what it sets out to do? Games don't have to be fun, they just have to be what they want to. Granted, games like this should be fun, because they're meant to be. If your game is meant to be fun and it's not, you have a problem. Why can I A-rank Treasure Hunter levels? Is it because I have the tracker on? I think it's because I have the trackers on, but... Maybe give me a harder time? That'd be nice. That, you know what? Good mod. If that... If they added a, a harder time difficulty for it, better mod. Granted, I wasted like half my time on that, didn't I? Intruder found entering security hole. Preparing to attack. Why couldn't I turn? That was whack. Can I do this? I mean, technically I can. Damn. Oh my god, you can just get right under him and do that. I had no idea. Oh my god. You can just style on flying dog. Uh, so the way that that works is you have to spin your. It's like a quick. It's like a quick spin in in Delta. You have to spin your stick around and then press B. This is Rouge. I've got a small problem. I can't believe that I'm trapped inside this locked safe with a chaos emerald. I guess I won't be able to call myself a treasure hunter anymore. I I find it hilarious that. The subtext for this cutscene is a lot stronger than the actual cutscene. Like... <laughs> Just... <laughs> it's so... Shoot, troublemaker. <laughs> Come on! Like, explain that, it makes a lot of sense. It's like, oh yeah, the reason why Shadow feels compelled to help her is because of Maria. That, the, the, and he's conflicted in... Like, does does he save does he does he save himself because of the fact that she is she reminds him of Maria, or does he leave her alone because he doesn't care? It, it's it's hilarious because it's just like oh yeah Shadow's a good person, but let's let's set it up in this like the funniest way possible. Oh. 
I just remembered that I I didn't get the the 69 on what you call it on fighting tails. That would have been a perfect mirror match. Oh shit. You know, I do think people harp on the whole auto scroller stuff a little bit too much uh, as far as this game goes cuz it's only like small segments that really like, granted, there's a lot of it in this level, so my opponent's a little bit nullified, but... Yeah, there's, there's still... it's... it's... There is still so There's still skill to be had. It's not like Sonic Forces where I'm holding down... Ac oh, God damn it! encoding overloaded. I hate this so much. I really gotta get a better processor. Okay, that was a poorly placed, uh, invincibility thing. Whoa. Uh... Is this the only level that requires this light speed dash from him? Oh my god, I actually game over on fucking white jungle. I'm like upset about what the amount of game over. What do you mean no? I think I pressed B. I didn't know pressing B on that cancelled it. I thought it skipped it. I've been lied to my whole life. Uh, but now I have the light speed dash, so I can just skip the bonus stuff, I guess. Uh, you know what? Maybe... No, I'm just gonna keep talking. If you want to and it's not interesting, uh, skip to where we were. Uh, but if it is interesting, just keep it in. Alright, I think this is where we were at. No, we were a little bit further ahead. Okay. I can skip that spring. Uh... Oh, oh, come on! This game is giving me the business. Also, fun fact, uh, impossible, it is actually impossible to collect all the rings in a level. At a lot of levels, because a lot of the ring counts are, at, like, have extras because of untouchable rings that were left in from development. Like, I think City Escape has, like, 30 or 40 that are missing alone. Uh, cause you, if you were to collect all of them, it would still be, you would still be short. So, life lesson here, uh, don't go for 100% of ranks. Uh, that'd be really dumb. And another level. Here we go. Can we stop with the encoding errors? I know you're not doing it right now, but we've had this discussion. Be cool, bro. God damn. That wasn't so hard. Yeah, shut up. Also, I decided against counting all deaths. I should tell Mr. Editor about it before he does it. Hey, that's uh, the blue hedgehog again of all places. Just, just, I, I think it's gonna be annoying throughout the entire playthrough. Fake. Keep that up. It will be a. I think you're the fake it's not worth his time. Right you're comparing yourself to me. So that's You're where we're at. Even good enough I'll make to be you eat those fish. words. You can't get away this time. There's only one real Sonic. It's me. I am the real Sonic. Bring it on. Mm. That hurt. No time to have This gets slapped, on. bud. before the island blows up with you on it! Blows up? Oh. Hey, this is a fun time to talk about... Oh wait, I just remembered another cutscene change. Uh, all the emeralds in the GameCube release Chaos have an error on them. Uh, where they've made, been made transparent for no reason. Uh, so you can see through a lot of them. They originally opaque like you can see now. Oh hey! 4x3 aspect ratio, welcome back. <laughs> 